I mean, then again, in Splatoon 1, I mean, it wasn't there for the very beginning of Splatoon 1, but, like, you know, they had, like, the whole, like, oh, yeah, get these weapons, and we'll just keep patching in new, you know, balances, and we'll also patch in new weapons and stuff like that, like, maybe I was there for it. I got the game during, like, Christmas of 2013, so I- 2015. I think I was there to see the whole, like, Sheldon's picks coming out, which was new at the time, I'm pretty sure, but, you know. I'm not realizing how lucky I am to get Splatoon 2 in its, like, first release. Because, you know, there are no more Splatfests, so it's like, you know. I mean, let's think about it. They have a whole year worth of Splatfests in Splatoon 1. They had a whole two years worth of Splatfests in uh, Splatoon 2, or a whole two years. So, what if they do three years? Like, again, that, okay, maybe that could be too much, but you never know. There's another cancer. I can't outrange him, so I'm gonna just go over here. I'm not realizing, in this game, and in the previous game, uh, there was a disconnected partner. I just didn't mention it in the previous game, because I was ranting on about things that I wish were to exist, or I wish were to get fixed. Speaking of things that they could have fixed, you know what they also could have fixed? They also could have made the Splash Up Pro a little bit better. You know what they could have done? Oh, you know what? How about we, you know, be fair with you guys? Let's give it, you know, a base damage of 45. Let's give it extra range. Just, you know, a small range, like, you know, maybe 4%, 2%, you know? Oh, maybe let's even give it a little bit more painting power so that it can be used more. No, instead they just made it design. They just design it to be broken. And when I say broken, I mean just outrageously overpowered. I'm also just now realizing how many disconnects we had. I think, what did we have? We have one from, what was it? We had three of five matches I've done. No, three of six matches. That's half. That is actually bad. And worst of all, I think, like, two of them, I won them? Okay, I'm going to win this one. That's a guarantee. Like, that, that, there's no question. Like, unless we were to be so bad that we actually lost this, but I don't think that's a thing right now. So I don't see us losing this, but there was one, you know, lobby where there was a disconnection, but it was on our team. So we got penalized for it. All right, well, that's six games in unrewardingly and I just really don't like that like first first we had to lose one game with the top 500 because we got demolished easily somehow because I was bad second you're then telling me hey you know what uh disconnection oh you know what disconnection again oh you know what disconnection again like you need to fix your stuff Nintendo oh my goodness the more that I think about it, maybe I am just going to split this up into multiple parts because, oh my gosh, I have so many things I want to ram about. Maybe this is why I don't like editing videos because they just become outrageously long and it's just not fun. Like, okay, you know, like, I'm hope like, maybe you guys will see this video after I uh, did some, you know, some cool things with Ten Rayman who actually came over to my house and I accidentally screwed up with the commentary at the very beginning of the video, which I'm pretty sure you guys have seen. If you guys have seen the video, at least, then, you know, you know what I'm talking about, but... I feel like my life is going downhill. I mean, I'm getting a little bit better at focusing. Oh, maybe that's why I'm, uh, you know, doing better in life. Maybe it's just because, uh, you know, folk, I'm true doing everything I can to focus a little bit more on school, you know? And, you know, that's that's why I don't want a Gmon anime anymore. If, we if I lose this, come on. Okay, well, now I'll lose this because the ink brush came out of nowhere. Okay, maybe the one thing I don't like about Clanless is the ink brushes. Maybe. That's only if you use a Nouveau. Because the Nouveau is actually really strong for whatever reason. I don't know why it has to baller spam. I don't know why it has to be so fast that you can't even catch up to it. But okay. You do you, Nintendo. I mean, then again, they probably didn't even intend the Ink Brush to be so strong in Clam Blitz. Actually, now that I think about it, if you use the Ink Brush in Clam Blitz, uh, a little bit of a heads up, I may not like you. I mean, then again... That's why I also say to people who play Zelda, Dark Samus, Little Mac, King DDD, and Jigglypuff Online. If you play any of those three characters, or those four characters, chance it- Did I die? From- Okay, maybe I wasn't like covered by the little ledge right here, but what? Sometimes I question things. Why, why am I questioning it? This is the same game with the most questionable hitboxes I've ever seen. I mean, you could literally be a whole mile away from the baller and take like 50 damage. Actually, now that I think about it, please guys, if you're watching, if you've actually made it all the way to the point in this video, please let me know how my commentary is. Is it boring to you guys? You, uh... 
I'm gonna actually ask that on my community tub tab. Like by the time like the time you guys have seen this, it's probably like ten days after I've like released that community tab. Like, hey guys, what I just have a real quick question, what's your favorite part about my channel? One thing I don't like is an okay, now, now we're actually experiencing a laggy aqua brush. That's not good. Oh. Nice! That's not 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 nice! What are you doing? Carnival, what are you doing? Just go do something! No! Why? Get over here! Oh my gosh. Okay, well, thank goodness my Hydra Splatling was being a Hydra Splatling and, you know, pushing them back, making sure they don't move an inch anywhere close to us. Thank you, Hydra Splatling, for being a Hydra Splatling. Because I swear, sometimes you just have one of those teammates who they just don't do what they need to do. Or they're just bad at it. I mean, maybe they are doing what you want them to do. They're just bad at it. I mean, that happens, right? Then again, that's, that still gives you that weird feeling. It's like, why? Why, you know? Just why? Okay, I threw two in. Maybe that might do something. I mean, we're, again, getting that little leverage of points always matters. Like, you know, you have your opposite team, they have like nine clams remaining, or nine points remaining. And then, uh, you have, and then, but then you get that, you get that one clam, you know, now you're, now you have eight points remaining. You, you know, that one point, that, that gave you guys the victory, you know? Everything matters. Listen, I knew there was an auto bomb there, I just didn't know how far it was. But, it turns out it wasn't far at all, it was actually like an inch close. And it was enough for me to just die like that. So, shock. Shocker, right? Oh, oh, another shocker too. We freaking lost the lead. Pretty sure it wasn't because of the fact that the auto bomb is the most outrageous. Okay, auto bomb does not have the most outrageous hitbox. But gosh dang, this game is so notorious for outrageous hitboxes. They don't make sense. Why? Why did this game have to have such weird hitboxes? Like sometimes you can be like a whole mile away from it, you still die. Like why is this the case sometimes? Like why? And why did? I'm gonna be honest. If we don't win this. I may never enjoy ranked again, and I and I and I really don't want to say that because I know we're gonna lose this. Because number one, we just all died, and number two, right there. Seven games in, guys. We're only seven games in. I, I, I forgot how it's like to suffer in rank X like this. Just get that. I mean, maybe, maybe I'm more exaggerating how frustrated I am with this game. It could just be the fact that I was just playing Smash Bros. Ultimate earlier, and gosh, dang. You know how much it sucks to fight degenerate players? You know how much it sucks when some of your fans are also degenerate players? And then they call- and then they act like as if they're not degenerate and they're just like, You spamming, bro! I know who you are. You know who you are. I don't want to call you out because I don't want to be that guy, but you know who you are. You need to stop dodge rolling so many times and then pretending like you're not the spammer here. And then proceed to call the other person a spammer for playing the game. You know who you are, when you're- if you're watching this, you know who you are. But to call someone out, I don't want to call people out like that. Sometimes it's not nice, and sometimes that's one of the easiest ways to drive away, uh, scribbers. You know? He knows what's, he knows what's up, right? He- I almost killed someone, but I should've just kept shooting. Alright, I'ma throw a Booyah Bomb. Booyah Bomb. I don't know where to shoot it, though, cause, uh... Oh, 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 I'm gonna make a hot diggity run for it. Surprisingly, no one died from that. Who has that much main power up? Like, okay, your fall damage is really great, but like, no, it's not. <laughs> like, I think the maximum fall damage you can get up to is like 28, and even then, that doesn't really do anything. I mean, maybe it does. Maybe I'm just stupid, and I'm actually gonna die. Because this ink storm is heading my way. I'm getting shot at. Oh my gosh. Now you see, kids, that's what I call a chain reaction. Kill this guy. He's... I, I saw what the car was trying to do. He's like, hey, give me my clams. And the other dude's like, what? Huh? Oh, shoot, there's a guy in front of me. Pew, 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 pew. Let me just uh, keep firing at this guy. 
you. I actually got someone with that. That's uh, pretty impressive. Not really, but you know it happens. You get you know you, you know you just get those one or two moments you throw a bomb because you can. Then you just get someone like how? And why can't that just happen every time you intentionally throw it? You know, you ever get those one or two moments? You 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 know what I'm talking about. Hey, oh. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should, yeah, maybe I should replace, you know, that one, uh, you know, ink saver, uh, uh, what is it, special saver with a, a little bit more ink resistance, you know? Because, oh my gosh, I cannot tell you how annoying it is to just not get off that little patch of ink. And when I say little patch, I mean literally a corner. I'ma throw it. I'm a okay, or I can die from a bomb that came out of nowhere. I mean, hey, that's what well, teammates are for. They cover for you, you know? All right, I'm gonna die. Or not. I'm alive. Actually, speaking of alive, shoot that guy. Or I can jump right into it where this car roll is like, woo, woo, woo. And Custer Lewis Coach is like, pew, 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 pew. Right in the air. Because I tried to kill someone that had a super power clamp that was literally a mile away from me. And it was out of range. Sometimes I'm an idiot. I'm sorry, guys. And you can talk to Kelp all about that. He will tell you all about how much of an idiot I can be sometimes. But then again, don't worry, he can be too. He can be too. We all have those one or two moments where we're just like, wait, this, this, that, that, and I haven't known this for this, this, that, that. So yeah, it, it, it can happen. So just if, you, if someone calls you an idiot, more than likely, it's just that one moment he calls you an idiot. So just don't sweat it if someone actually does call you an idiot for over something so small. We were getting these games in. I, uh, I like how I'm uh, always on the top when it comes to these games now. Like, what? Like, let me see. How how much was I on the top? And, uh, you know, those games. Like, okay, wait. Okay, never mind. For, like, three games, I think, in total, I was on the top. Just three games. False alarm. Aww. Mm -hmm. I just realized something. I literally just realized something. I always had something against Kirby being some kind of like super powerful being that can actually challenge gods. At first I was like, yo, nerf Kirby, he shouldn't be that strong for such a puffball made by a guy who made Smash Bros. I mean, respects to him, but like, why make the super overpowered like OC, you know? But then I just realized, Sega does the same thing. DC does the same thing. Marvel and Nintendo, they're trying to be like, alright, we're gonna create those one or two really strong characters, you know? They're gonna be so cool, but, you know, they're, it's just those one or two characters, they're, you know, they're so strong. You know, you have Marvel, you have Ghost Rider, Galactus, Thanos, and then, uh, and maybe even Thor, maybe even Hulk, and then, uh, what is it? You have, um, and then you have Nintendo. Those one or two powerful characters, like, okay, maybe occasionally our characters can be powerful, like Mario, Super Mario Galaxy feats. Uh, what is it? Um, I'm getting suppressed hardcore. Excuse me, don't bump into me. Well, the other opposite team is dead, so I think it's fine. Nintendo has those one or two. Okay, like, they, okay, they even have Link, I guess. Uh, Mario, he can be powerful occasionally because he doesn't just stomp on Goombas. He actually survives, like, black holes and stuff like that. And then, you know, you have Kirby, you know, again, challenging gods. And then you have Link, you know, he's the only one that can kill this super powerful demon that's literally invincible to everything. Including, li li literally name anything. Ganondorf, apparently Ganondorf's supposed to be like this overpowered being where the only one that can kill him is Link. Or, you know, some holy weapon can kill him and if you don't have a holy weapon of some sort, you're not gonna kill him. At all. I mean, admittedly, that's one of the type of villains I don't like where they have just this, they're so strong, but they have this one easy exploit. That just ruins them or something. Admittedly, I'm not a fan of that. And there's, trust me, there's, and one thing I really hate the most is that there's a lot of villains that are just like that. They have this one exploit, and then they're just, you know, kind of just ruined. Oh, no, nah, I'm gonna make a run for it. Or not. That's fine. But then again, okay, and then again, you have Sega and DC. They make these characters that are probably actually overpowered, like Sonic. You know, you have Sonic, right? I didn't know how strong he was until someone actually went to the mathematics about how powerful he actually is when he's supersonic and hypersonic, apparently. They have Archie Sonic, who's supposed to be, like, I mean, debatably stronger than Ultra Instinct Goku? Like, what? And he's just called Ultra Sonic. I think that's what he's called. But apparently he's more powerful and literally 
<laughs> Goku? Goku could be debatably more powerful than Superman, who's literally one of the most overpowered superheroes in existence, who somehow still loses to Batman sometimes? Or should I say he loses to Batman more times than not? The only time he ever wins against Batman is when DC said, hey, Batman should be a villain. Or should be a bad guy for no reason. That's the only time Superman beats Batman, is when they decide Batman should be dumb and should just be a villain. And then they do the same thing to Superman in Injustice 2. And then Batman wins, because he's the good guy. Kill this guy. Or just kill none of them, that's fine. Or someone could just kill two of them, that's fine. I'm not realizing how much I like to rant about things. Like, I'm sorry, like, I, I don't know if you guys are getting really bored of my ranting, but gosh dang, I just- I, You ever get that feeling where you have too much to talk about, but you got the, like, this one video, you just want to squeeze it in? But then you also know that you can rant about so many things, and no one would care. Like, you ever just get those- you ever just get those moments? You ever also get those moments where you literally aim at them and you don't kill them? I really hate high ground places. It's really annoying. Because I'm just on them. And I'm shooting at them. And then I'm somehow still missing them. And I want to question why. There's probably a logical reason why. But I just still die. Or I just still don't get them somehow. It's really ridiculous if you ask me. I just want to kill one more person, please. Thank you. That's literally all I wanted. It's just that... O okay, thank you. Thank you for blessing my match for just letting me get two more people. Just two more people. That's all I want. It was just, well, technically one more person. Just so I can feel, you know, right. And we also got 69 points, which I don't know how I feel about that. But I mean, like, sure thing, fam. Sure thing. 12 splats. Let's get it. I'm actually doing good. I mean, that guy got like 17. But, you know, custom Dewey Squelch just really be like that. 2,400. Oh. This is gonna be bad. I mean, I'm not saying that because, like, I'm just being negative, but usually, matches like these, we lose. Almost all the time. Like, I, why didn't he die? Didn't I shoot him, like, three times with a weapon that's supposed to kill him, like, maybe two times half of the time? Oh, I'm not going to enjoy this. L3 is still really strong, even though they literally nerfed it to where, like, it consumes more ink, uh, you need more main power-up just to, you know, get to your required filament to get that 33.3, what was it? I don't know what to do. Okay, obvi- Nintendo, how can you- how is- are you- how are you so good at ruining things? How can you, like, introduce this new gear ability and ruin the whole game like that? I don't know about you guys, but I think because of main power up, it ruined the whole game. And I'm pretty sure some of you can agree with it. And I'm not saying that because the Ken Splash Pro exists. I'm saying that because all these other weapons that utilize main power up to become these insanely strong weapons exist. And uh, unfortunately, one of them actually is the Ken Splash Pro. Because it utilizes it way too hard, just like the L3. And just like the bamboozler, just like other weapons that get so much leeway because of it. And it's ridiculous. You know what I'm also not realizing? Okay, well not just that, but um... I'm not realizing how tactical the meta was back then. Like, just not just in this game, but in general, like, other games as well. I feel like we've just gone into a string of like, oh, if you, uh... If you play these characters, then, you know... You, they're top tier, because, you know, they're, they're easy easy weapons like i'm not really like, remember like i remember when soren literally said rapid blaster pro was top tier weapon back then or was one of the best now that weapon is garbage in this meta but i'm thinking why was it top tier anyway like what made it top tier was it just top tier because it was a tactical weapon and because it was a tactical weapon it was, a it was why does no one die from booyah why, does it, why is it when it's my Booyah Bomb, no one dies? I mean, I don't know if I'm just using it just to say, hey, get off of me. Or if I'm using it like someone who's not putting their brain into... You learn something new every day. If you're a top 500, you're more than likely going to get that fall off damage. Even though that wasn't a top 500. Got that insane fall damage. I'm not realizing they literally just missed. They missed by like an inch. You ever get that feeling where you could have won the game, but you miss? Because of that, you lost the game? Actions have consequences, I say. Actions have consequences. As much as I hate saying it, sometimes milli- If you're playing Five Nights at Freddy's 2, then you know. Milliseconds. Costs your life. 
Like, I remember, like, remember when blasters, I used to have been, like, part of the meta? Like, now, like, you use blaster because you want to. Not because they're good, because you want to. Like, I don't know any blaster in this game that's, like, actually usable. Like, you have range blaster, but it's too hard to use. Okay. Let's get it. Is she's gonna kill me. She did kill me. She somehow got that aim up. Maybe I was swimming a little too, like, the five degrees off instead of just, you know, 45. Let me just keep tossing my bomb until I get something out of it. I have quick comeback on, so it's like... I can just spam this until I feel safe. Which usually takes a while. But I actually do. I was trying to go behind him, but apparently he saw that coming. Or is it a she? I can't tell. Sometimes they're just those headgears. I can't even tell if it's a he or a she. I am not okay with the fact they have 20 clams. And one of them is super jumping right there. And one of them is in our base. You ever just want to punch something? I get in that mood a lot. Like, actually, no. Let's do it right now. Let me elbow my chair real fast. And I got five. Oh.